This is Forest Park's Trillium Trail, a very beautiful spot on a spring day when the trilliums are out. Well, really an early spring day, and that's why we're out today looking to see if there's anything out yet. Um, too early still, all we're seeing is a brown carpet of, of wet, soggy leaves, but in a matter of weeks, I think the trilliums are going to start coming up and they'll reach their full peak. Um, it's a beautiful place to come on a spring day with the sun out and the trims all blooming you look out into the forest you see white and pinkish flowers as far as you can see stretching out into the forest so that's what we're going to come back and look for here is a log just dissolving into the forest floor it's a sodden wet mess of soft spongy wood it's almost kind of gross. It's just like a decomposing fruit or something. Um, but this is the breakdown of wood. In this case, because of the uh, white fibers and uh, the soft sponginess of it, we know this is cellulose, one of the two primary components of wood. Um, but this soft spongy wood is home to many, many organisms. As the summer comes along and the forest dries up, this wood will hold a lot of moisture. This log will stay wet on the inside through the summer. This is where salamanders hide, um, uh, snails, slugs, many, many invertebrates and other animals find their homes inside of these rotting logs. They're a really important part of the forest ecology. Scattered throughout the park, you also find these massive old stumps from the logging days. Uh, gigantic cedars and hemlocks and firs that were cut out of here. Um, and the only thing that's left is just a few rotted remains. You can hardly tell they're stumps from the old days, but they're covered in moss, rotting away. By the size of these stumps, I would say this was a pretty incredible forest in here. And it's sad that the trees are all gone. Uh, we can only hope that the trees are here now. We'll actually have a chance to grow back and become some of these giant trees again. Other evidence of the logging and other habitat disruptance is the massive amounts of silt. You can see it in the clarity of the water. And then look at the banks of the creek, uh, how much accumulation of silt there is here. I think in a very intact uh, Pacific Northwest ecosystem, of this type, you would not have this accumulation of silt if it was, um, if the forest was intact, if the land hadn't been disrupted by so much scarring of trails and erosion coming off the trails, you would not have this kind of murky water and accumulation of silt. Big change now. Come back and the trilliums are blooming like crazy. Uh, as far as you can see in the forest, there's beautiful white and pink flowers. It's a very fleeting moment when the trilliums are out. And I look closely at these here and uh, they're already dusting their petals with a uh, yellow pollen. They go pretty quickly here. I think they start to turn pink and purple when um, they've been pollinated. I'm guessing that's what happens. And some of them are already reaching that stage, but right now it seems to be about the peak in terms of just beautiful white flowers. They all look fully out. So that's been a little snapshot of the Trillium Trail, uh, both in the winter when it was not quite uh, very interesting and then also now when the trilliums are out giving it its name so out of the entire year there might be a week or two when it's really beautiful like this and the rest of the time it's just another trail in the park so a little snapshot here of the whole thing thank you